Hello everyone. In this session, uh, we are gonna try out some real-time examples uh, that is to generate uh, some certificates. Okay. Before moving on further, uh, we will we'll recap what we have done so far in the previous sessions. So we have covered some basics, uh, uh, almost 10 topics we have covered. So the, the basic thing is uh, textiling, working with uh, texts and then font sizes, margin. Then also we have tried with the page size, A4, AFIR, custom width and custom width and dimensions. Then margins, so it, it starts from left, top, then right and then bottom. Then page breaks, the clip of page breaks before and after where we wanted to break. And then we have also tried with the order and order list and nested order list. And then we have tried columns and tables. And then in this previous sessions we have also covered uh, uh, the images uh, either uh, how we can pick it from the local or if uh, we can pick it from the http or htps protocol to get started the real time examples uh, if you follow through the previous session so you have an idea how to approach an official log point especially for the pd make one so you know where to look let's say if you have a uh, queries on tables then you can directly go for our table sections and you can explore it so even if there are any uh, improvements along the way uh, by the PDF make uh, system so you, you can feel free to export and then you can adjust okay so take these sessions or just an information or input but if you really want to uh, uh, to learn then it always uh, you know you have to try it on your own and then face the uh, problems and then just start, start solving okay let's get started before moving on further uh, in this session so uh, we are uh, you know execute to the certificate part so be any uh, any real time example you should have a pre-planned uh, outcomes uh, how it look like so that it will be easier to to position it, uh, the elements than items okay so for now i have picked some samples from a pre-pick um, as a certificate so for the first time what we can do we'll take a sample and then we can try to adjust it try to keep it minimalistic then um, we can go ahead further okay so i have downloaded in the next uh, i mean opened in uh, adobe illustrator and then i have uh, take the same copy uh, once again and then removed a couple of items or the dynamic items that we wanted to generate from the pdf make okay so here in this case scenario i mean the name and then the second uh, could be a description one description two so so that you can adjust whatever uh, needed for your requirement and let's say there is authority one and then authority two okay so i have removed all the uh, uh, texts and then keep it uh, uh, as a placeholder so now i have uh, stored two different names one is pm underscore one and the one is pm underscore one underscore empty so let's say if you, if you tomorrow if you have some other version or you are improvising the same uh, version always uh, try to keep it as pm underscore zero two zero three something like that so that even even how many version that you are, that you wanted to update still the naming conventions remains and it's easier to uh, read and understand and try to keep the uh, names very concise and then treatable understandable okay so i have uh, exported and then kept it in the public folder public uh, certificate folder so so the, the default copy is the sample that we, for our reference frequently we can uh, read where uh, th this uh, get is personated and then another one will be empty so this will be in one x uh, dimensions and also i have exported four x dimensions so this will help us to uh, give the better quality if they wanted to take a printout or or uh, to so that even if we zoom it that background image will not break uh, at least for the printable size okay you can you can expect i mean uh, if uh, in your case the size does not matter only the qualities matter you can feel free to increase the the quality then a uh, number of pixels so in and also you know try to keep the naming conventions more uh, readable so whenever you want to export 4x always keep the base is uh, without uh, the you know the version numbers so this one will be in a four times than the the original image okay so let's get started so i have tried already so for now i'll, I'll like try to explain what is happening here okay so in this scenario 
uh, don't worry about uh, there are so many quotes are here so we'll try to uh, break it a little bit okay so here uh, we have uh, taken up a data it's straightforward data so it's a simple uh, json one second yeah yeah so i, I hope you got an idea now. so there is a name there is a description on there is a description to and the authority one again name and destination authority to name and destinations so in real time either you might have uh, take it from the database or you might have hard coded or you might have a json file or you might have a csv and then convert it into json and then you try to keep it so that we don't want to hard code uh, uh, any of the values uh, in, the, in the certificate directly so that is the first step that we have done so data part is done now I think in the previous sessions you might have seen so we have hard copy pages so that if too many places we want to access the page with so we need not to uh, change the numbers okay so the dimensions that we have picked up is 871 624 as in the uh, uh, the i mean uh, as in the uh, image dimensions that we have picked okay the certificate dimension so done so these two are straightforward then we have uh, provided a page size and then done so we'll just try to remove all the code and then see okay so if, if you notice here after uh, there is a background we are supplying the image then we are giving the path so as we know that we have kept it the certificates file inside the certificates folder public certificates folder and then there is a sample and then i have we have picked the 4x uh, image but the actual size uh, will be 871 but the 4 x size will be 871 into 4 624 into 4 so but we need the maximum width as uh, 871 624 so it will scale it down to the, the given dimension okay so but we know the dimension so it, it perfectly fits if, if i try to zoom out it looks ex exactly the same as the certificate that you are interested in okay so we'll undo then we'll we'll add the first part cut yeah okay so here what we have done we have just as we know that if we want to add some styling to our text properties we always have to use object notation then we have used text but we have added some more function to help helper functions to to, to do check the points let's say if in real time what we might have done now sometimes we might have a name or might not be there if it does not there then it should not raise an error or we should handle the error properly but for now i'll just try to keep it as a some function so that it will not raise any error let's say if i go back here and then just try to command this part it will not come as a error okay but if we directly hard code what will happen now if you are accessing data of square of name then this will have an error and then pdf will not render for now at least during the development it will be easier to identify what is went wrong okay so now we'll put it back and then alignment we need center okay now the pain point pain point is here let's say uh, how do we do the alignment so now we have the name but the name is in the top okay if you notice here the name is in the top why we wanted to give a page with so that the text alignment always come in the middle okay with with or without uh, uh, let's say if you have a two columns then again you need a center sometimes you know people might uh, do uh, without using center they might have used space or slash and or slash t to give the tab try to keep it in the middle what if tomorrow if the background size is changed okay so aligning the center point or the name is changed let's say if, if the name is uh, namely changed now still the, the text um, nicely aligns keep center and the middle okay but if you are not using center what will happen let's say i'm trying to put uh, some space before that see if, if you try to align like this what will happen now if it, the the text are increasing then either it will be in the left side or it might be in the right side it will not it might be it will not exactly in the middle okay so always try to utilize uh, the functionality which is available by default 
we will use center and then page width and then we need bold and then we need we need to increase the font size we can include the golden color good to go but the position it position has to be in the uh, somewhere in the middle correct so there is some other uh, options called absolute position but if the, i think this one this property we might not explore so what we can do we can just try to see uh, something like absolute position in pdf make okay something like that you can search and then you can try to uh, explore and then try to add so we have got some idea so absolute position it will take the x value and it takes y value okay in our case x value is supposed to be zero why because we, we wanted to keep the text as center and we it has to take the full width that way the text will be always center and middle so that is a trick he, here we wanted to apply so do not use x because uh, we need a yeah instead of uh, space we might also might have used x position and then we have to adjust so x is means let's say horizontal so let's say x this is an x point when we increase the x it will start from here so it will go like this if it is y then it will start from top okay so now we have given to to uh to so that that will be um in the same portion okay we'll just paste it again then we'll just cut the other part then we'll try to uh, do the same thing so another text we have added a data inside data there is a description one element center page width page size little bit lesser than the the name of the person then absolute portion as i said here we have not used x again okay again we'll go back and then just add the description to yeah so now this is also similar to what we've done for the previous one but the only one uh, small uh, minor tweaks that that is done here let's say in this scenario if we are now if you are using the same as page width what will happen the x will start from here and it will end here correct the maximum width and the font size uh, will be remain uh, whatever the size let's say it is 16 but here there are more than one line that we wanted to fit in inside the uh, uh, you know inside the uh, border correct so it means that it has to start with somewhere here so from here to here there is something called 70 so when we say 70 the width supposed to be minus this 70 here some 70 okay so totally 140 has to be reduced from here okay so that this content will be aligned in the middle and center okay if not you have to play it like let's say right now if there is some uh, little bit adjustment let's say this will be 68 in that case here what how much we have to reduce so 120 130 136 okay so now you can just just play with that and then you can adjust as needed okay the idea is that why we need x here because the starting point is fixed for this case okay so if we are not providing these two things what will happen now it will start from here okay so that is a point so now we have added some more uh, thing okay we'll okay so here we have used columns why because let's say here we have two different things but there is a space in between and we have to adjust as needed okay so we have two different columns one column is for uh, name of the person another column for designation okay one column so we have given a data inside data there is an auth one and then inside name then with the line height and then alignment bold and all it is as usual so what is the purpose of star it just adjusts uh, in the middle part okay it stretches i mean uh, it it uh, equally let's say if it is 300 300 in the middle space will be the remaining portions okay what if it uh, what is auto here auto will not work because whenever we say auto then it adjusts based on the the text size but there is no text here in, in our case this will be empty area okay so first plan this one then after that we are giving absolute portion for the the whole columns not for individual items okay if you give the individual item again there is there will be a problem later point in time okay so here we are just starting with 630 then after that ending i mean uh, the portion will be 480 so it means that we are fixing the x so that this x and this x remain same so only one x we are trying to provide 
I mean, y, one x and one, I mean y, y we are fixing it. So from the top, uh, we are fixing the y. The same way we can fix the y for uh, the destination so that this uh, this destination one and destination two will remain same. So that's what we have done. Yeah. So we got an output. So you you can change as needed. Let's say if you have a portrait or if you have a uh, visiting card, if you have uh, any any type of thing that you can easily play with, you can adjust it. Let's say in your uh, scenario, you might have uh, two different uh, cards or two different certificates. So what we can do, just take this part, the whole set, okay, just move it to some function, then pass as a data for each item. Then you can uh, just iterate it and then push it here as we uh, 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 do it in normal uh, scenarios. Okay, It's a simple array, so we can push as needed. Let's say if I paste, uh, copy this part, okay, I'll just paste it at the end. Then if I place like, I think page break, page break before. Yeah, it's created, another one. Okay, let's say I'll just try to parkour now different name. Sample, it will come. Okay, so because this, this part is uh, top is from again, it will start from all over again. So you, you got an idea. You can you can place, let's say if I place again, then this will create one more page. Why? Because we are doing the page break. So it will come three times. Okay. So we got a good output yes it's very simple you can do whatever you wanted to do it is easy to, to scale it or for different examples you can uh, thank you